Hi, this is John from Waukegan, Illinois. I'm here today to tell you about a new quadcopter frame I just bought. It's the from Banggood. It's the Grasshopper uh, from Diatone uh, 160. Uh, that's uh, 160 millimeters on the diagonal from motor to motor. Um, the sub 200 uh, for quadcopters is a uh, some new classes that a lot of people are getting into. Everybody's excited about them right now. Uh, they take less room to fly. Uh, they're about half the weight of a 250. Here's a 250 that I have. I think the weight on this without the Mobius and battery is about 380 uh, grams. I'm hoping this new um, 160 when I build it out will be about half that weight. Uh, this the 250 that I have has six inch propellers, where the new Grasshopper 160 will have four inch propellers. Um, quite a bit smaller, but yet uh, they're basically almost as fast, a lot more maneuverability, and you can fly them in smaller areas. And if you hit something, uh, they don't cause as much damage to the quad or anybody or uh, whatever you hit. So um, I can see why they're a nice size to have. Uh, I believe this package I got from the U.S. warehouse. It was about $17. I got it in a week um, to Chicago area. Uh, to build this, um, I was going to use all these uh, black screws on the bottom so my area is flat. You can uh, um, put your um, PCB board standoffs through and um, build up. That's the way you normally do it, but I thought with the combination of screws, I would use all the flat black ones on the bottom because I'm going to need to put my battery on the bottom. I just have soon have something flat. Even if I don't put the battery on the bottom, I think the steel screws will hold up a little bit better than the nylon one for sliding since there's really no landing gear for this. So first step is to put the uh, four screws or four of the screws through the um, bottom of the quad. Thanks. You can see this is a challenge. There's three of them. And here's the fourth one. Now, once you get the four, put the put that down. And then you can take your PCB board. I already trimmed it. Uh, they have a uh, outer section there if you have uh, with a larger uh, bolt pattern for large quads, or you could. Um, trim that out and you know, clip the four little uh, things there and it'll fit uh, a smaller quad. So I put the PCB board in. Whoops, can't just put that in. Uh, you're supposed to use some washers because this is carbon fiber and uh, it would conduct electricity and short the board out. So um, they give you some non-conducting washers. They say to use at least one. I'm using two to separate the board from the uh, bottom plate of the frame. Put two washers on each. Take the board, place that on. Okay. Then you take your um, stands to hold your flight control board. Nylon. Uh, Right now I'm waiting to get my uh, flight control board. I ordered a uh, CD3 uh, um, Atom for this, but I haven't received it from China. They take about four weeks, where from U.S. warehouse things take about three weeks. So that would go on here next. Let me put the little, and then I'd... Just attach the uh, nuts on here just so I don't misplace those or lose those. But 
normally I'd have the um, flight control board on. This will be a challenge to get everything in on this board. I've watched uh, several videos, a number of ways to do it. Okay, got those screws on. Next step would be to um, probably put the um, pillars or nylon, which is uh, a little bit different. Normally, uh, they use the aluminum ones, but uh, I'm looking forward, that whoops, the uh, nylon ones um, look pretty neat. Wish they were black. The other thing I'm wondering about is I did order a box of these uh, nylon spacers and stands. And I ordered them from the China warehouse, so it'll take a while to get, and they are black on those. So I might use the black ones. The other thing is, I was wondering about getting maybe something a little taller. This is a little shorter. If I want to try to get my flight or my uh, receiver, radio receiver, inside the frame. Okay. Let's see. Because the spacing here. What I've seen on some of the builds is they put the battery on the bottom and they put uh, both your radio receiver and your FPV transmitter on top and I wanted to see about getting those under the top plate if there's a way to do that. That's the way I do most of my 250s, but there just isn't very much room to do that. And then I'd feel a little bit more comfortable taking off the case for my transmitter. But if I put it up on top, probably for better protection, I'd probably leave the plastic case on my uh, receiver. Okay, so... There you have it. It's all put together what you get in that package for $17. You get your PCB board, you get your quad, your top plate, and all the um, uh, spacers to put that together. Let's see. Check out the weight. Get some grams. 37 grams. Um, so it's a pretty light unit. Now, I have my flight control board on there, and the question is, is there any place where I could put my uh, radio receiver in here? Maybe if I raise this up a maybe a half inch or a little over a quarter inch, between a quarter inch and a half inch, there'd be enough room to put my um, radio receiver in here above the flight control board, especially if I took the case off, you would save uh, probably a quarter of the thickness there. Uh, the other items that I have is I bought one of these uh, $10 uh, 600 line um, cameras from uh, Banggood for $10. Uh, this would, um, looks like it'd be easy to find a spot for that to go on the front there. And then I need a, um, a board, a, a transmitter, probably use this one here. I might take that off of there uh, or see what else I could get that's pretty small. Uh, but what I have seen them do is they put the battery on the bottom. Got the battery strap here. Let's see. So, well, 
and end up with the battery on the bottom. And then I'd end up uh, probably putting the transmitter on top of the frame. And I'd take the Mobius, tempted to get a smaller one. Uh, they make an 808 that's about half the size or half the weight. Put that on like that. I'd have the transmitter probably underneath there and either out the back or going up. And then you'd have your propellers. Oh yeah, motor. And ESCs. They would go on the arms. ESCs would need to go on the arms also. Then I wanted to dress it up with some LEDs. Uh, I bought one of these. It's really bright. I like to put it on the back so if some uh, quadcopter is following it, you can see it. The problem is it's white. I like the red ones on the back or the orange ones. I don't know if I could get one of these big LEDs um, in orange. But and then I have some smaller traditional ones. Uh, I think I have all four colors there. I could just clip one out, probably put the green on the front to match the front propellers. If not, I could end up perhaps this is a little big for the front, but uh, I figured I'd have this on the back. But um, stay tuned. I will um, try to get, when I get my flight controller in, I will try to do a video showing how to assemble it all. Um, and I'm still thinking about it. Uh, how to get this all into one package, but um, you kind of see, you get the idea uh, how it all goes together, and I'm really excited about flying this um, once I could get it together. It's a uh, size that uh, everyone's going to, and I think it's really going to at least be half the market from your 250 class. Thank you.